Welcome to my very first animation journey. Today, I'm excited to share a special project inspired by the timeless classic, The Lion King. This first animations were a labor of love. And as I dove into the world of Simba, Mufasa, and the circle of life, I learned so much along the way. Some of the animations might be a bit rough around the edges. After all, I was just starting out. Each video was a step forward, a chance to improve, and a testament to the creative process. I hope you enjoy watching these early attempts as much as I enjoyed making them. So, let's take a trip to the Pride Lands together and see how far I've come. Here we go. Scar, where are we going? You've been leading me for ages. It's a surprise, Mufasa. Trust me, you're going to love it. They continued to walk until they reached the edge of Bear Territory. Scar, are we supposed to be here? This doesn't look like our territory. Relax, Mufasa. I found something amazing and I wanted to share it with you. Father will be mad at us. We're not supposed to be here. Oh, don't worry about it, Mufasa. Just keep following me. They arrive at a tree with delicious looking honeycombs. Whoa, what is this place? It smells amazing. This, my dear Mufasa, is the secret honey tree. Bears have the best honey and I thought we could try some. Bears? Scar, we're not bears. We can't just take their honey. Oh, don't be such a worry, cub. We just need to convince one of the bear cubs to share with us. Mufasa hesitates, but curiosity wins. All right, but we have to be careful. They spot a bear cub eating nearby. Watch and learn, Mufasa. Hey there, bear. We heard this honey is the best in the Pride Lands. Mind if we try some? No way. This honey is only for bears. Find your own tree. Scar, this isn't right. We should go back. Not so fast, Mufasa. Watch me work my charm. You know, bear Mufasa and I are not just ordinary lions. We're royalty, heirs to the Pride Lands. Royalty? Really? Indeed. But here's the thing, Bear. If you don't share this honey with us, it might be seen as an act of war between lions and bears. Our fathers won't be happy, and who knows what could happen. Scar, you can't just make up stories like that. Our father will be furious. Relax, it's just a little exaggeration. It'll work. I don't want any trouble. Take some honey, but only a little. Scar, this is wrong. We can't use our status like this. Oh, Mufasa, you worry too much. It's just a little harmless trick. Let's go home and eat a delicious honey. That was my pilot episode. I recolored Kion and Kovu as a young Scar and Mufasa. I was in the early process of learning, so I only had two 3D models. Let's keep watching. Scar, do you remember the days when we were just cubs, exploring the vastness of the Pridelands? Indeed, Mufasa. The good old days. Mufasa and Scar share a knowing look, acknowledging the unspoken bond of shared memories. What was the name of that pig we met when we were younger? The name of a pig we met when we were younger? Refresh my memory, Mufasa, because I don't seem to remember. Come on, Tucker, you remember? It was a gluttonous warthog bathing in mud and feces. Oh God, I do recall the smell now. By all the lions of the past, he was the most revolting thing I ever smelled. By all the lions of the past, he was the most funky. But God, he was a silly warthog. How I do miss his charm. Mufasa, have you ever considered that animals' odour might be a bad reputation for Pride Rock? What do you mean? Well, imagine if other animals start avoiding us because of his stench. It could tarnish our image. Hey, there goes Father and Uncle Scar. I wonder what they are talking about. Must be something important. Nala's going to be jealous. I know important information. What are you two talking about? Ah, oh, Simba, just reminiscing about the golden days of our youth, when the sun seemed to shine a bit brighter and the adventures were endless. Really? Please, Uncle Scar, can you tell me more about it? Mufasa and Scar stroll through the lush pride lands, the scent of blooming flowers lingering in the air. Suddenly, an unpleasant odor disrupts their serene walk. Scar, do you smell that? It's like something died. They follow the smell, and as they round a corner, they discover a wallowing pumba covered in mud. Pig, is that you that smells? Who, me? Nah, couldn't be. Really, pig? It smells like you've been rolling in a dung beetle's banquet. Oh, you noticed? It's my new fragrance. Mufasa and Scar exchange confused glances. New fragrance. Pig, why don't you ever take a bath? Baths are for birds, not for pigs like me. Besides, mud is nature's spa treatment. Mufasa and Scar share an amused look. Spa treatment? Pig, you're not making any sense. You see, it's all about embracing the piggy essence. Showers are overrated. Piggy essence, huh? So, absolutely. Why conform to societal standards when you can be true to your inner pig? Scar, I think he lives in a world of his own. Indeed, brother. A world only a pig could truly understand. Let's go home, Scar. Father is waiting. Give me a minute. I will be right behind you. 
I never asked your name. What do they call you? My friends call me Pumba, and you can too, friend. I cannot wait to meet the king of this beautiful land. I hope he likes me. Pumba, you see, your unique aroma might not be the best thing for Pride Rock, and the king, well, my father might get upset. He would get upset? But I've just got here. Imagine what the king would say if he found out about your rancid smell. He will be very upset that a pig's smell is embarrassing Pride Lands. I don't want to embarrass Pride Rock. Well, there's a solution. You could leave town, find a place where your, uh, scent won't be a problem. But I just got here, and this is my home now. It's for the greater good of Pride Rock. Plus, you don't want the king getting upset and eating you for Sunday dinner. Pumba, I am saving your life. Leave, and maybe one day you will find a place where you don't have to shower as often. Fumba reluctantly agrees, leaving the Pridelands. In the present, Simba is engrossed in the story as Mufasa and Scar reminisce. What happened to the smelly pig after that? Mufasa looks at Scar curious. Scar, what became of that unknown pig? Oh, him. He decided he'd rather leave Pride Rock for a place where he could be free without the burden of regular showers. Mufasa nods, not suspecting Scar's deception. You guys had a great childhood. I wish I knew more about it. Don't worry, son. In time, I will tell you all my adventurous tales. Your uncle and I aren't planning on going anywhere. By the way, Scar, what was that pig's name again? Hmm, <clears throat> you know I don't recall his name. Anyways, I am off. I got friends waiting for me. Very important things to take care of. Have a good day, brother. Have a good day, brother. Pumba, I wonder whatever became of you. Probably dead in a ditch somewhere, never to be seen or smelled again. Good riddance. That episode was about a young Scar and Mufasa remembering the most stinky pig they ever met. Mufasa cannot recall his name, but Scar remembers Pumba very well. So Pumba ends up leaving and meeting T Mun on his next journey. Another lazy day in Hakuna Matata. What are we going to do, guys? Well, Simba, in the wild, you got to learn how to defend yourself. Life Lesson 101. Did someone say self-defense? I've got just the thing. Seriously, Pumba? Welcome, class. Today, I'll teach you the art of self-defense Pumba style. Oh, this I gotta see. Um, Pumba style? What's that? You'll see, Simba. Now, imagine a predator is approaching. What do you do? My father once told me, never be afraid to fight back. Nope, you pass gas. Pass gas? Classic Pumba. Watch and learn, Simba. <laughs> Whoa, Pumba! you could clear the entire forest with that. That's the idea, Timon. The more you smell, the less a predator wants to eat you, just like a skunk. So my defense is passing gas? Exactly, it's foolproof. Now give it a try. Uh, did it work? I think you just offended the bug, Simba. Well, class, that concludes today's lesson. Remember, when in doubt, let it out. The Great Pumba's Legacy. Well, well, my friends. Mufasa is no more. Our plan worked. To the demise of Mufasa, the rightful king has fallen. Long live the hyenas. We're the real rulers now. Now that Mufasa's out of the way, we need to focus on the next phase of our plan. What's the next move, Shenzi? Simba managed to escape during the chaos. We can't let Scar know about our little oversight. Scar expects results. If he finds out Simba is alive, he'll have our hides. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your laughter. Simba escaped, but we can't let Scar know that. We'll need to come up with a convincing story. A tale that will make Scar believe Simba met his end in the elephant graveyard. We can't afford to show weakness. So what do we do? Well, Shenzi, is the deed done, or have you failed your master once again? Simba fought valiantly, Scar, but, uh, unfortunately... He didn't make it. Simba put up a fight, Scar. A real struggle against us. <laughs> Are you certain? How did he die? He fought bravely, Scar, dodging and weaving through the elephant graveyard, but our numbers overwhelmed him. We closed in on him from all sides. He roared defiantly, but it was no use. We surrounded him and, well, you can imagine the rest. Excellent, well done. Our reign has begun. Call the remaining hyenas. Summon the vultures as scouts. We will march to Pride Rock and take my place as king of the Pride Lands. Scar, did we have to kill Simba? He was just a cub. Did you really hate your nephew? Shenzi, my dear. It wasn't about hatred. It was about power. 
and securing my place as the rightful king, Simba was an obstacle that needed to be removed. Besides, sentimentality has no place in ruling the Pride Lands. It's a lesson Simba would have learned eventually. Simba got what he deserved. The next story takes us into the future. Simba and Nala are parents. Can you believe it? Mufasa would be so proud. Kayon, Simba's son, is taken for his first hunt. But little Kayon asks, why does Simba not kill? Well, I will let her explain it. Enjoy the video. Hurry, don't let up. They are right behind us. We can do this. Just focus. I'm so tired, I can't keep up. Hurry, Kion. We are right behind them. Yes, Mother, I am with you. All we need is one. We must focus on catching the weakest one. They are catching up. What do we do? Should we split up? Do not split up. We can outrun them. Just focus on speed. Save your strength. They will get tired. I see them up ahead. We are close, Kion. Follow my lead. We will pounce on the slowest one. I will try, Mother, but I don't know if I am as strong as you. Maybe you should go without me. There is no trying, Kion. We must attack now. Don't be scared. This is the circle of life, and their time has come to an end. Are you ready, Kion? We attack as a pack, so stay together. Mother, you did it. You took her down all by yourself. I can't believe how good you are at hunting. Kion, I am very disappointed in you. You did not follow through with the kill. You are leader of the Lion Guard. You are supposed to be a strongest hunter. How can you protect us from hunger when you cannot feed your pride? I apologize, Mother. To be honest with you, I am still not comfortable on taking a life. Kion, it's in our nature to hunt for sustenance. The Great Circle of Life is a system that keeps everything in balance. Animals eat other animals to survive, and that's a part of the natural order. We must hunt with respect and gratitude for the life we take. It's not for pleasure or sport. It's a responsibility that ensures the survival of our pride and the delicate balance of nature. But, Mom, I've noticed that Dad doesn't hunt. Why is it important for me to hunt if he doesn't? Well, Keon, your father grew up in a different place, far away from the Pride Lands. He was taught in a different way of life. Simba chose to embrace that lifestyle, and while he may not hunt, he still understands and respects our way of life. It's a choice he made that reflects his unique journey and experiences. Simba, did you know I've been practicing my singing skills? Really, Pumba? That's interesting. How's it going? Well, I've mastered the art of the Hakuna Matata. What was that? For? What was that? <laughs> Very peculiar, don't you think? Yeah. Looks like the winds are changing. Well, at least now we know the real reason the wildebeest stampede, right, Rafiki? I don't know about you guys, but I am getting hungry. Come on, Timon, let's go get some grub. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> What a great episode! Let's skip forward in time. Today is a special day for the Lion King. Simba and Kayon are getting older. As time passes, more friends join the cast. Let's continue the journey. Kion, come check them out. The ducks are back for the season. Ke wow, pretty cool how they swim. They make it look so easy. It is a powerful force that connects all living things in the great web of existence. The circle begins with the birth of a creature, from the tiniest insect to the mightiest lion. Each life has its purpose, contributing to the balance of the Pride Lands. Every life eventually returns to the earth, becoming part of the land that sustains us. But from that passing, new life emerges. It's been a while since Keon and I went on an adventure. We need to explore the Pride Lands today, as Lion guards it's up to me and the guard to protect our home. I can't wait to find Keon. I'm looking for Keon. It's been a while since we did a patrol around Pride Land. Keon is out with the king. They are by the river. You just missed them, but I am sure you can catch up to them. You are pretty fast on your feet. Thank you, Zazu. I will try to catch up with them. By the way, you look beautiful as ever today, my queen. Why, thank you. Make sure to tell Keon and Simba dinner will be waiting for them when they return. A slice of zebra for Keon and an extra fat lady bug for Simba. Keon, where have you been? I've been looking for you. It's been a while since we did a lion guard patrol. Sorry, today is not a good day. I think I'm going to spend it with my father. It is beautiful out today. And I want to make sure I enjoy it. I understand, Keon. It looks like Simba is enjoying the time. 
I hope the king appreciates what a good son he has. The king knows. And the king is grateful he gets to spend as much time with the leader of the Lion Guard. I know he has a busy schedule to keep with all his duties. It can wait, father. Let's continue enjoying your birthday. So what were you saying about the ducks? Certainly. Ducks are known for their quacking antics, and here's a humorous fact. Did you know that a group of ducks can often be found in what is called a quack pack? Let's go back in time, where a little cub named Simba meets his Aunt Zira for the first time. All right, let's go meet my replacement, the cub who took my crown away from me. Let's make this quick. No one took your place, Scar. In my eyes, you will always be the true king. You are the only one that can save us from this place. Mufasa, brother, my king, I'm here to introduce Zira to Simba, our future king of the Pride Lands. Hello again, Mufasa, my king. Thank you for inviting me to meet your beautiful son. Zira, it's a pleasure to see you again. I hope all is well with you and your family. Everything is well, thank you, sire. Simba, I want you to meet someone. This is an old family friend. An old family friend? Who is she, Uncle Scar? This is Zira. She's a friend of mine. Is she your girlfriend? Oh, no, Simba. Scar and I are just good friends. But Nala said that when you spend a lot of time with someone, they become your girlfriend. Well, that's true. But Scar and I are not like that. Are you sure? Positive, Simba. Zira and I are just friends. Thank you for coming, Zira, and for introducing yourself to Simba. It's my pleasure, Mufasa. Simba, it's nice to meet you. Are you sure she isn't your girlfriend? Simba, I told you, we're just friends. Very good friends. You mean friends with benefits? <coughs> Simba, that's enough. It's important to have friends. Let's not jump to conclusions. Your father is right, Simba. Friends are valuable. Well, we should go now. Zira's family is waiting for her return. I shall make sure she gets there safely. It was a pleasure to meet you, Simba. Farewell, my king. The pleasure was mine. Safe travels and be sure to visit whenever you want. A friend of my brother is a friend of mine. Father, that lady gives me the creeps. Me too, son. Me too. Zira, it's time for you to meet my real family. Welcome to the Elephant Graveyard, Zira. Meet my associates, Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. Associates? Scar, why are we associating with these mangy hyenas? Mangy? Who are you calling mangy? Oh, nothing personal, of course. It's just that lions are meant to be with lions, not scavengers. Hey, who does she think she is? Zira, my dear, we need the hyenas. They're essential to my plan. Plan? Scar, I don't see why we can't handle everything ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Zira, Mufasa is strong and we need all the help we can get. The hyenas are loyal and they're hungry for power. That's right. We've been waiting for a chance like this. With their help, we can overthrow Mufasa and take our rightful place as rulers of the Pride Lands. Fine, Scar, but they better not cross me. Did she just hiss at us? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. They will never see us coming. Together we'll bring about a new era in the Pride Lands. Let's go even farther back in time. Where we first meet Duka. Duka is Mufasa's best friend and Nala's father. This is before he was banished by King Scar after Mufasa's death. Mufasa, your mama's so ugly, she made a blind ape cry. Your mama is so ugly when she tried to join an ugly contest, they said, sorry, no professionals. Your mama is so ugly, she walked into a haunted cave and walked back out with a job application. Your mama so ugly just after she was born. Her mother said, what a treasure. And her father said, yes. Let's go bury it. Mufasa, we are so far from Pride Rock. Let me guess, Duka. You are scared like a little baby cub. I am not scared. It is just those hyenas are really creeping me out. They keep staring at us. I am Mufasa, son of a Hadi. I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Dang, Duka. You are getting good at roaring. I guess I was wrong about you. I take back all the bad things I said about you. Wait, what? What did you say about me? <laughs> Nothing, my bro. You are the best friend a lion can have. I feel the same way about you. Unless you were a cute girl cub. Then sorry, bro. I choose her. This is a private path. You must pay respect with a gift to pass through here. Really a private path? 
but I always take this path on my way home. Well, now this is my path, kid. Pay respect with a gift or else. Hey, Mufasa, remember that gift that Taka gave you for your birthday? You should give it to him. Oh, yeah, sure I remember. You want a gift to pass? Here you go, buddy, enjoy. <laughs> Damn, you kids are so disgusting! What did you eat? Smells so bad, I'm leaving! <laughs> hey, Mufasa, you wanna go put bugs on Taka's bed again? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go even a little forward in time. Every lion in a pride must have a first hunt. It is a tradition. This is the first time we meet a special lioness named Sarah Bee. When Sarah Bee was younger, she and her mother was introduced to the pride by a young lion named Taka. For some reason, Taka liked taking in strays into his pride, as he did with his adopted brother, Mufasa. Let's watch. Our first hunt, Mufasa. I am so excited after today. We will earn the respect of the pride. Duka. Remember, we are in the dangerous desert. We must be careful. Everything is scarce supply out here. Even the strongest lions don't survive out here to long. Taka, thank you for inviting me today. My family isn't included in much of the Pride events. We are always left excluded, but today I will make sure my family goes notice. Sarabi, don't be ridiculous. The first time I saw you, I always knew you would be a fierce warrior. You are as beautiful as Queen Uru and twice the hunter as her. And trust me, I know. My knowledge of past lions is unmatched. Why, thank you, Taka. I see studying with Rafiki has made you wise and strategic. You may not be the strongest lion, but you sure are smart. Studying with Rafiki has made me wise and strategic. Yes, but he is a religious fool. He doesn't see the real world as it is. He believes in the circle of life as a living entity, where I see the world as the strong will survive and the weak-minded will die. You will see one day. I'll make it to the top with all my brains and wits. Brother, what are you doing here? Taka, why aren't you hunting back in the Pride Lands? Don't you know out here is dangerous for your first hunt? You do know Daddy ain't here to protect you. I have chosen the same hunting ground as both of you. Because when I kill the biggest thing out here and bring it back to the Pride as my trophy, I don't want to hear any excuses on how easier I had it. Brother, don't be rude. Aren't you going to introduce us to your new friend? My name is Sarabai. I am from the Pride Lands. You have not heard of us because it's only me and my mom at the moment, so we keep a low profile not to track any attention. But don't worry about us. I was trained by my mother. She is my inspiration to be a fierce huntress. That's awesome. If you want, you can join me and Duca, and I will make sure we kill something. I will make sure both you are returned safe to the Pride Land. Thank you, but I reject your offer. I don't need your help. I can handle my hunt myself. I will stay by Taka and continue hunting together as we plan. Serebi, your loyalty will be rewarded when we kill the biggest thing out here. As we were rudely interrupted, I spotted a herd of Cape Buffalo. Did you say Cape Buffalo? You must be joking. No lion cub has ever taken down a Cape Buffalo on their first hunt. Damn bro, you woke up today with giant cojones. Don't be a fool, Tucker. There is a herd of stag nearby. That would be a great trophy to bring back as a first hunt. Don't risk your life and the life of your pack to chase a foolish quest. Please, brother, don't risk your life for fame and glory. Let's go, partner. Together, we will return as legends and show the Pride Lands what we are really made of. It's simply why I'll be king undisputed, respected, saluted and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bared. Be prepared. Dead lion walking. Boy, I am going to miss Taka. I'm going to start writing a speech for his funeral after the Cape Buffalo kill him. My brother and his foolish ideas. Come with us. Don't risk your life for him. Mufasa, do you really think I'm scared of danger? I laugh at danger. <laughs> okay, my brother. Forget about those losers. Let's focus on the hunt. I see three stags, all we have to do is take one down, and we can go home. Are you ready for this, Mufasa? I am ready, brother. I feel like the lions of the past are watching over me. Today will be a good hunt. I will make sure we return as warriors of the Pride Lands. They are distracted. Go now, brother. You are destined to be the greatest lion ever. I believe in that with all my heart.
I was only expecting you to kill one stag, but you got two of them. That is unbelievable. The lions of the past must be watching over you. That looks so delicious. Damn, bro. You gonna share some of that with your best friend? I know you did all the work, but it was my leadership that got us this far. Stop talking so much and start eating on the other stag before the vultures come. Man, and this is the freshest meal I ever had. The blood makes it so sweet. Thank you so much, brother. Are you ready for glory and fame? After we kill a giant cape buffalo, we will be legends in the Pride Lands. Thank you for inviting me to your first hunt, Taka. My family is not that known in the Pride Lands. If it was not for you, I would have to wait a very long time for my first official hunt. You don't need to thank me for your first official hunt. I'm a little jealous you get to witness the rise of Scar. People will envy you in the future. The time for talking is over. Let's get the show on the road. Witness my greatness. Don't worry, Taka. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. It is a part of the process. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fail. Poor little Taka never did win the heart of his true love. Let's jump into the future and meet a young Kiara and Vitani, both who are missing a lion named Kovu, who they have not seen for a long time. Let's watch. Vitani, do you ever miss the days when we were just cubs, playing without a care in the world? Sometimes, Kiara. Life was simpler back then, but you're all grown up now, the future queen of the Pride Lands. True, but sometimes I miss the innocence of those days. Especially the times when Kovu and I used to play together. Ah, Kovu, the outsider turned Pride member. How is my brother these days? Any word from him? I miss him, Vitani. I miss our adventures and the laughter we shared. It feels like he's been gone for too long. Well, who knows? He'll return one day from his mission. Things have a way of coming full circle. Did I ever tell you the time Kovu first met Pumbaa? No, you didn't, but let me guess. It was a bright and gassy day. So what do you want to do today, Kiara? I don't know. I have a lot of studying to do today. Sazu really loves giving me lectures of all the old kings of the past. All the old kings of the past? That's so boring. Come on. Let's ditch homework and go do something dangerous. Something dangerous? Are you out of your mind? My father will ground me till I'm married if I do that. Come on, Kiara, don't be such a baby. You always do what daddy says? I always knew you were a daddy's girl. I'm not a daddy's girl. Come on, let's go. And I'll show you what kind of queen I will make one day. Hold up, wait a minute. What are you little rascals doing here? Hey, Pumba, we're just exploring. Just having a little fun. Having a little fun? And who is this little fella that you are hanging out with? I never seen him before. He looks like trouble. Kiara, who is this fatso? You want me to kick his butt? Name's Pumba, and I'm the king of relaxation, the gas master. I'm Kiara's favorite uncle, so you better behave, buddy, or else. Or else? Or else what, fat boy? You gonna bore me to death? Come on, guys. Let's all get along. Pumba, we were just on our way to see Zazu. We were going study about all the kings in the past. Okay, Kiara, only because I trust you. You, but not him. I got my eyes on you, kid. Remember, Pumba doesn't miss a thing. Thank you, Uncle Pumba. Come on, Kovu, let's go. Thank you, Uncle Pumba. By the way, you really stink, bro. Peace. Wow, I never knew my brother went out to meet you. He would always say he was out hunting. Yeah, your brother is always full of surprises. Yeah, that sounds like me. Rebel without a cause. What can I say? I'm full of surprises and always up for an adventure. Kovu, you are back from your trip. Well, well, look who decided to come home. Kovu, I missed you so much. What took you so long? Out scouting new herds, my love. But I couldn't stay away any longer. I needed to see my queen. You've been gone so long, I thought something bad happened to you. No matter what happens, Kiara, I will always return to you. No matter how long it takes, nothing can stop me from being with you. I better leave before I puke all over myself. Welcome back, brother. Sometimes it is hard for me to believe that's Kovu. My brother, once a warrior outlander, now the future king of the Pride Lands. What a beautiful couple these two make. I'm a great matchmaker, don't you think? Did you just say that it was your idea for getting these two together? I believe I am the one who told you about them. Yes, my king, it was your idea. But it was old Rafiki who did all the work. Let's jump into the future and watch Princess Kiara first hunt alone without her mother Nala. It took me quite a long time to develop my speed. And now that I have it, I am not going to waste it. I am with you, Kiara. 
Together we will feed all of Pride Rock. No cub will ever go hungry again. With you by my side, Vitani. As leader of the Lion Guard, I definitely know we will be the strongest pride since Mufasa's reign. Are you ready for the kill? I will take down the male stag, and you pounce the female deer. No, this can't be. How did I lose two of my best friends? We were the fastest of our herd. Wow, they caught two of them. I can't believe it. Since you've been gone, Kion, Kiara has focused her training. She has gotten so much stronger, even Simba can't believe it. Okay, Pumbaa, let's get some grub, because I'm starving over here. Plus, we need to get something for Simba. I can hear his stomach growl from here. He must be low on protein. Man, I'm hungry. Did you guys find something to eat yet? I'm so low on energy. Hey, Simba, good morning. Good morning, Your Majesty. So tell me what's on the menu for your king. Any ladybugs? How about the big juicy worms? I like that are filled with that juicy stuff inside. So delicious. Yeah, Timon, tell us what's on the menu. Our king need replenishments. Of course. Don't worry, fellows. You know your boy has you covered. I got the good stuff today. Don't you worry. I got a big fat beetle for Simba. Full of protein that will last you a week. A giant furry leap bug for Pumba. He is extra thick like you. He will fill you up, don't worry. And I got myself a nice lightened bug for me. Extra spicy the way I like it. Wow, excellent job, Timon. I can't believe you got these. Must have taken you all morning. Especially the extra slimy ones I like. Can't wait to chow down. That's my best friend. My brother from another mother. Always spoiling us. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ah, uh, quit it. My king, I also got an extra surprise for you. For protecting us for all these years. Pride Rock has really felt like home because of you. Hey, don't say that. Pride Rock is your home. You too, Pumba, and it will always be your home. No matter who rules, you are part of this family, always. That's what I'm talking about. Here you go, Simba, a big fat apple just for you, kid. I always knew you would be special, didn't I, Pumba? Wow, that's a huge apple. Oh man, I can't wait to munch down. Come on, fellas, what are we waiting for? Let's eat. This video is the first time we meet Janja and his clan. Jasiri and Cheesy make up this clan at the moment. This is before Jasiri leaves because she doesn't like the way Janja runs his clan. So Chunga replaces her when she leaves. Are you guys ready to do this? Janja, why do you want to join Shenzi's clan? I hear she was the one who killed Scar. Wow, are you serious? She was the one who killed Scar? Yeah, she was the one to do the deed. That is why we have to join her clan. She is a skilled warrior with years of experience. We need to learn from the best if we want to be the best. What if she says no and rejects us? We won't let her say no. We will do whatever it takes to join her clan. Did you say we will do whatever it takes to join her clan? What if she wants proof of loyalty? What if she wants blood spilled? If she wants proof of loyalty, we will spill as much blood as it takes to prove it. I don't know about this. This doesn't sound like a good idea to me. I am with you, Janja, no matter what. I will follow you, brother. Thank you, Cheesy. You're always a loyal friend. Come on, Jasiri, follow me. Grow some cojones and let's go. And who might you three be? I don't think I ever seen you around in the elephant graveyard. You do know this is my territory. I am Shenzi leader of this clan. You heard Shenzi explain yourself for trespassing on our territory. And explain fast, because we are hungry, and right now, you are looking scrumptious. <laughs> clan leader Shenzi, we are here to seek leadership. We are three hyenas without a clan. All we are looking for is a place to call home. You're looking for a place to call home? What happened to your old home? We are from the Outlands, but we were kicked out by lions. And now, we have no home. So we beg of you to let us join your clan. If it was up to me, you could join my clan. But do you see the mean hyenas behind me? They don't trust that easily. And what kind of leader would I be if I let spies into my clan? The only way possible to join is to prove your loyalty. Shenzi, we are not spies. We will do whatever it takes to prove our loyalty. 
That is good to hear. And to prove your loyalty. We want blood to spill. Crap, this is not good. Shenzi's clan is growing. The more hyenas, the more problems it brings to the Pride Lands. I better report this to the king before there is a big problem. In the next video, we meet Princess Rani for the first time. She is a fan favorite. She has come all the way from the Tree of Life to meet King Simba of the Pride Lands. Even from the beginning, she notices that King Simba is a special lion like no other. So Princess Rani, what do you think of Pride Rock? I love it. It is very beautiful here. You have a beautiful home, Keon. I think it's time for you to meet the King of Pride Rock. Princess Rani, this is my father, Simba, son of Mufasa, the Lion King of Pride Rock. Princess Rani, as King of Pride Rock, I welcome you. My son Keon has told us so much about you. It is very nice to meet you. King Simba, as future queen of the Tree of Life, I thank you for your invitation. Your son has also told me a great deal about you, how you fought bravely against your uncle to win your crown back. Your story has reached and touched lions beyond Pride Land. You hear that, Simba? Your story has reached lions beyond Pride Lands. Your story is legendary, my boy. Hey, did you hear anything about me? I'm Pumba, the legendary pig who fought 10 hyenas and won. Uncle Pumba, you are legendary to me. Don't worry about what other people say. Why, thank you. Keon, you are the greatest nephew a pig could have. I would love to meet the queen of Pride Land and tell her how much her son means to me and the tree of life. I'm sorry, Princess Rani, but the Queen of Pride Land is on an important meeting. She basically runs this place. But if you want to meet the future Queen Kiara, she is around here somewhere. Thanks, Simba. We will go find her. I'll see you later, Pops. I think my sister is around her somewhere, probably making out with Kovu as always. She is obsessed with that lion. Your sister must really love Kovu. Hey, Simba, if your son marries that girl, he will become a king and we get to have a new place to hang out. Akuna Matata. Your father seems like a pretty cool lion. I never met a lion that doesn't eat animals before. Yep, that's Simba for you. He was raised by his boys, so he respects every animal, not just predators. Hey, Keon, you finally got yourself a girl, I see. That's my boy, way to go, Idaho. Keon, are you going to introduce us to your beautiful friend? Big sister and future brother. This is Princess Rani, future queen of the Tree of Life. Hello, Princess Kiara. It is a pleasure to meet you. Welcome, Princess Rani. I hope your visit to Pride Rock is going well. Let me know if my brother is misbehaving and I'll set him straight. Thank you, Princess. Your brother is treating me very well. I quite enjoy his company. Should you kids be out roaming Pride Land all alone? You are royalty. It might be unwise to have a guardian. Do you want me to tag along? I'm quite a fighter. I wouldn't mind having a very handsome lion like you escorting us, but, but I think Keon is a lot stronger than you so I think we'll be okay. You heard the lady Kovu. She has all the muscle she needs right next to her. So I got this bro. I forgot you have those lion guard powers. Man, I always wanted to be a lion guard. Well, catch you guys later. We got to bounce, peace. I think Kovu is jealous of your lion guard powers. What can I say, Princess Rani? You picked the right guy to protect you. As we wrap up this journey through the Pride Lands, I just want to take a moment to reflect on how incredible this experience has been. From the wise teachings of Mufasa to the courageous spirit of Simba, every moment in the Lion King reminds us that life is about learning and growing. Just like Simba faced challenges and embraced his destiny, we too encounter paths that shape us. Kiara and Keon remind us of the importance of family and friendship, showing us that each step we take is not just a lesson, but an opportunity to enjoy the journey. So, whether you're finding your raw or learning from your past, remember that every experience is a chance to grow and appreciate life's beauty. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I hope it inspires you to embrace your own journey with open arms. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep roaring. Tucker, thank the heavens you are here. Give me a paw. Help your king up. Brother, are you deaf? Tucker, help me. Stop fucking around and help me up. Why are you smiling like that? That's fucking cringe. Oh, fuck. Sorry I forgot your birthday, sweetie. Me and the boys got fucking wasted again. If it makes you feel better, shit felt like it was my birthday tonight.